Morning everyone, Angus Campbell here. Sunday the 8th of December. Back on the lightning and um, following the last episode where we were polishing cases, finally the timing outer case now all fitted together with all the ancillaries, footrests, etc. So we're uh, moving on. And uh, similarly, we've got the uh, primary case just fitted into position because, uh, as I said before, we want to check the uh, clutch actuation before we uh, finally fit that case. And I can't do that until I've got a clutch push rod and that's uh, on the way at the moment. So uh, today though, firstly we're going to attend to one job that's been outstanding for a while and that's the rear chain. Um, just to remind you that uh, the rear sprocket is non-standard, it's, it's big, it's 52 instead of 47 teeth, so it's going to be a bit lively, so we're going to try it first like that anyway, but it means we needed a longer chain than 110 pitches, so um, I was going to make one up, uh, but in the end I decided to, uh, to buy a contiguous length of 114 pitches, so I've got that to fit. And then uh, the other more sort of major news is uh, barrels. Right, so a bit of a story here. So the original barrels off the bike, which on this are the later barrels with the uh, 3 8 of an inch stud fittings. And uh, marked up with a, it looks like a part number, but it's, it's not quoted in the book, uh, 711033. Um, the original barrels were damaged on this skirt on the left hand side where obviously the rod tried to let go and those barrels are currently having new liners put in and being bored out to uh, standard however that's going to take a little longer than anticipated um, and I was wondering you know, whether to leave it uh, a little while or see if we can also just investigate an alternative and uh, what I found on eBay recently was um well barrels in general for these um the a65s they're pretty scarce especially in uh obviously in standard standard bore uh, but also you know the the less than a handful that are, are on ebay are, are all damage fin damage usually or skirt damage anyway i had another quick look on uh ebay last week and came across these and um they're uh, a bit superficially dirty, and but they are at standard. And the previous owner stated that uh, they would need a, a rebore because they've been uh, sat a while. Well, on inspecting these last night, um, I think um, we're quids in on this because, firstly, um, the bores are dirty, um, but they're not pitted. So a good clean and we'll see how those go and maybe a light tone. Uh, but the second thing, and I'll show you this um, when we get into um, uh, restoring these a little, is that um, on examination of the bores, there's no uh, perceptible wear lip uh, towards the base of the bores. Uh, at the lower end of the throw where the rings uh, would uh, would finish on the throw um, so that's that's fantastic news and the next thing I've done uh, a ring gap check on, check on these and the ring gap is about 10 thou and the um, stated tolerance is 8 to 13 thou so it's well within um, in fact in the, towards the lower end so I think we've come up trumps with this this is a standard bore which is serviceable and all we'll need to do is to give it a very very light hone I think uh, but the first thing will be to uh, to clean all that up as best as possible um, there's a bit of um, muck and oil on it so we'll just degrease it all first and we'll see what the inner's barrels are light but other than that um, we've got all the, the outer studs with it uh, there are, are no broken fins whatsoever and um, subject to a bit of superficial cosmetic stuff 
which we can deal with by cleaning up and uh, painting up. I think we've come up trumps, so I think we're going to use these barrels. Um, the other option, if this had been worn, is that I do have plus 40 pistons, so I'd have borne, the, borne, borne this out to plus 40, but we don't need to do it. So, what I'm going to do first is uh, fit the chain on the rear end of the, of the bike. I'll need to take the chain guard off, but that's just one bolt at the front, that's easy. And then we're, we're going to get onto these barrels here. So I'll bring you back shortly. Cheers. Okay, bath time and uh, giving this a, a good wash down and a soaking in gunk. Um, but just doing a, a bit of initial cleaning on the bores. And there is going to need to be a bit of cleaning up. Um, but I can still see honing marks on these bores. So... Again, that uh, hopefully bodes well. So anyway, we'll give it a uh, good wash down today. Plenty of soaking, scrubbing, etc. with a soft brush. And then we'll see what's left and uh, we'll give it a very, very light honing. But uh, still can't feel any ridge, wear ridge at all, towards the base of the uh, barrel, so that's good. Okay, barrel's uh, cleaned up, um, degreased and uh, cleaned pretty well. And I'm now just going to give them uh, a, a light honing just to see if there are uh, any aberrations in the bores. Um, generally still looks pretty good at the moment, but um, there's something in there on that bore there, which is the, uh, which one is it, the right of the bore. Um, I think there's a low spot there where maybe in the past um, piston rings you can see it there can't you I don't think that's going to come out at all that's quite deep so we may be looking at rebore on this but anyway going to give it a light hone um, and also do some other prep with it so I've got the uh, the ultrasonic cleaner on we'll give it all a good clean anyway and we'll just see uh, if we can clean them up but at the moment in general pleased with them but it looks as though we might have to bore them out but let's see Okay, the barrels have uh, had their bath. They've uh, cleaned up pretty well. Um, they do need a bit more brushing down uh, a little, but um, they're pretty good. And I've begun to uh, clean out the bores uh, with with the hone there. And. Uh, it's coming on okay. I think there are going to be one or two low spots. You can't quite see it very well. That's a shadow there, but just there, there's uh, some corrosion there. Um, so I'm not sure how far we're going to need to go to uh, to clear that out. Uh, but what I'm going to do is see if we can save these as is. Um, we'll hone some more on this which is the right hand barrel and then we'll measure up to see how far uh, out we are and whether or not we're still within tolerances. The left hand bore is, is, is pretty good, that's not going to take much at all. So that's that's fine, it's just this right hand one and whether or not uh, we can save it. So anyway, I'll crack on with the hone now and I'll bring you back when, uh, when we've got it uh, a bit more cleaned up. Okay, lots more honing and cleaning, etc. And uh, you can still see it's got uh, it's got scars. So um, no, to want to worry. The bar barrels though are are in very good condition. Um, therefore, we'll go back to plan A, and we'll get these bored out to uh, plus forty. And uh, there are the plus forty A seventy pistons, seven one two double six eight. Um, Standards are seven one two triple six. Uh, they're in. They're actually in here. Um, so these are for the other barrels that are having liners in. There we are. Two triple six. So uh, we'll leave it there for now while we make arrangements to uh, to have these bored. As I say, as you can see, the barrels are in good condition. Need a bit more cleaning up. Uh, all the fins are there. Doesn't appear to be any cracks, but we'll get that tested. Um, so I'm pleased with them in any event because um, they weren't a 
a great deal of money. They're a good buy. Um, so happy with them anyway. And uh, we have got something sorted out anyway on the uh, on the bike in between cleaning etc. Then we've got the rear chain on 114 pitches and the split link is there. Can't see too well, but with the uh, the spring clip um, installed the right way round. A circular end at the front of the uh, motion of travel. So uh, that's that. That job done. Chain chain tension good. Lots of adjustment left on that. So we've got that right. So coming on. Right. Well, I say we'll uh, we'll end it there. Um, next up, I think might not be in, uh, until a, a few days' time when we'll go back on the uh, Fury and finish the uh, strip of the first fit as we're now waiting for uh, um, parts to be reconditioned or uh, some engineering work to be done on the A70 we'll go back to the uh, the uh, E35 SS Fury. So thanks very much for uh, watching everybody as usual, thanks for your interest, thanks for any subscriptions and we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot, cheers, bye.